Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that one of the big characters that a lot of people are truly looking forward to seeing in this film is, of course, Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Master, being portrayed by Mark Hamill once more in this story. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are really interested in when it comes to this movie is exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to utilize the character of Luke Skywalker that will be used in a way in order to move some of the characters like Kylo Ren and Rey forward into the story itself. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with the character of Luke Skywalker portrayed by Mark Hamill in this movie. Specifically, it's described that Mark Hamill shot a sequence during the month of January over at Cardington for a scene within the third act of the film, where it's said that Mark Hamill was in a standoff with Adam Driver in front of what appeared to be Jedi runes. In the background, it's said that Hamill was wielding an ignited green lightsaber in front of Adam Driver, where he was wielding his traditional cross card lightsaber. It's described to be an action-heavy sequence for both Hamill and Driver that is said to be brief yet very powerful. Another sequence was shot in which Kylo was walking toward Luke while Hamill was standing in a guarded fashion, which eventually led to a sequence where both Hamill and Adam had both lightsabers clashing against each other. Hamill was wearing his ceremonial robes and appeared to have shorter hair than usual with a beard for the sequence. Lastly, a shot was filmed in which Hamill was walking slowly toward Adam, where he was knocked down on the floor and appeared to act in an angry way toward Luke Skywalker. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this and what I really think about this sequence in specifics here of what it actually means for episode 9's story. So a lot of people have been wondering exactly what J.J. Abrams will be doing with Luke in this film. Now we do know two things, is that he will be used in the form of a force ghost as well as in the form of flashback sequences. However, this is something that seems to be on a different level here, and I want to actually bring up the reason as to why. Now, the fact that both Luke and Kylo Ren are using, you know, the green lightsaber going up against the red lightsaber in a lightsaber duel sequence in Star Wars Episode 9 within the third act of the movie. Now, this could either be a hint that Luke Skywalker comes back to life, at least temporarily, or it could also mean that a Force Ghost version of Luke is able to wield his own lightsaber in this film while also appearing to be alive. Or I think that the most likely scenario here is that this is in the form of a vision, very similar to what we saw in The Empire Strikes Back, where Luke Skywalker engaged in a lightsaber duel against the vision of Darth Vader. That's what I'm going to actually go ahead and say that this is. So the first thing that I do want to go over though is how this sequence in particular is actually taking place in front of Jedi runes. Now, we've been hearing about the Jedi runes being a part of Star Wars Episode Nine for quite a long time now, and now it's going to be very important to the actual plot of the movie. Not only is it going to be affiliated with the Lost City, but there's going to be a separate Jedi location in this movie where Mark Hamill, Daisy Ridley, and Adam Driver will actually be a part of those sequences. So in this particular scene, all right, it sounds like, at least to me, that this is a vision sequence where Luke Skywalker appears to be in his ceremonial robes, all right? Now, to this day, we have never seen Luke Skywalker in his ceremonial robes going up against the true Kylo Ren with his red lightsaber. We've never seen something like that before. And in case you guys have no idea what the ceremonial robes really are, that's basically the outfit that Luke wears at the very end of The Force Awakens, as well as in the very beginning of, of course, The Last Jedi and in the middle of The Last Jedi. So moving past all of this, all right, this leads us to yet another sequence that I find very intriguing is how Luke Skywalker is actually engaging in a lightsaber duel with Kylo Ren up against his traditional red cross guard lightsaber, where Kylo Ren eventually falls on the ground, where Hamill is walking slowly toward Kylo, where he appears to be very angry so Kylo appears to be very angry and confused in this sequence in particular so that leads me to believe that it's probably one of those three scenarios with a lot of fans out there around the world I know a lot of people want Luke Skywalker to be alive in this movie in some way shape or form or for Luke Skywalker to have a legitimate lightsaber duel against his nephew Kylo Ren as opposed to what fans were very upset with in The Last Jedi where Luke was just dodging the moves here and there. So with that being said though, guys, I gotta say that Mark Hamill, he really went all out with this movie. 
during the months of January and February, as well as September. He shot some scenes during the fall of 2018. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm very excited to see exactly you know what they're going to come up with in this film and what they're going to do with the character of luke and kylo ren and exactly how you know that's going to really lead those characters toward the end of the movie and exactly how this movie is going to end you know the final frames of this movie is it going to be open-ended or are we going to get some closure to the actual skywalker saga where we can finally say that yes war conflicts are over and that side of the family is over and done with now to me i wish that they would continue the skywalker saga but disney and Lucasfilm are sticking with their plan on new Star Wars trilogies. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.